Following her split from Russell Brand in 2012, Katy Perry opened up about how devastated she was was over the breakdown of her marriage. In one interview, she said the divorce knocked her, where she wasn't able to get out of bed for a fortnight because she was incredibly hurt. The California Girls singer, 38, who has a daughter, Daisy Dove Bloom, with actor Orlando Bloom, said she found the comedian controlling during their 14-month whirlwind marriage. She also revealed she took on the burden of the failure to make their relationship work. However Katie confessed there was a secret she was holding on to for a rainy day, and says this was the reason they split up, although she didn't find out until they'd separated. Following the serious allegations against Russell Brand following a The Times and Channel 4 Dispatches investigation, where he has been accused of rape, sexual assault, and emotional abuse, which he vehemently denies and insists any relationships were absolutely always consensual, Katie's former quotes have resurfaced, leaving many fans speculating as to what she meant by them. In a 2013 interview with Vogue, two years after their split, Katie, who has remained silent about the allegations made against Brand since they came to light, revealed the comedian had asked for a divorce over text just as she was about to go on stage to perform to thousands of fans. She added, he's a very smart man, and I was in love with him when I married him, she said. Let's just say I haven't heard from him since he texted me saying he was divorcing me December 31, 2011. In her 2012 documentary, Katy Perry, Part of Me, Katy is filmed hyperventilating and collapsing in tears as she is being held by someone in her team in her green room. The footage then shows her going up the lift to head out on stage during which she heartbreakingly practices smiling in front of a mirror for the crowd. This is said to be the moment she received the text. In a chat with the Sunday Times in 2013, distraught Katie admitted that her split from the comedian gave her a good knock. I was in bed for about two weeks. I was pretty f -cad, yes. It hurt a lot explained the star. Multiple sources said the pair had butted heads over their opposing lifestyles, with former addict Brand supposedly wanting a quieter life, despite his wife being at the height of her career in the music industry. Speaking to Vogue, Katie claimed Brand had become controlling in their relationship, before she learned that she wasn't to blame for their fallout, explaining, at first when I met him he wanted an equal, and I think a lot of times strong men do want an equal, but then they get that equal and they're like, I can't handle the equalness. He didn't like the atmosphere of me being the boss on tour. So that was really hurtful, and it was very controlling, which was upsetting. I felt a lot of responsibility for attending, but then I found out the real truth, which I can't necessarily disclose because I keep it locked in my safe for a rainy day. I let go and I was like, this isn't because of me, this is beyond me. So I have moved on from that. At the time of their split following 14 months of marriage, in a statement to US Weekly, Brand said, sadly. Katie and I are ending our marriage. I'll always adore her and I know we'll remain friends. And last month, Brand, who went on to marry Laura Gallagher and is expecting his third baby with the author, reflected on his marriage to Katie during an episode of Running Wild with Bear Grylls, The Challenge. He said, some aspects of it were, like, amazing. She's an amazing person, and it was kind of incredible to live for a moment in that eye of the cyclone type aspect of fame. Aside from my sort of feelings of affection for Katie, it's a time that I remember being a little bit chaotic and a bit, for me, to speak for myself, a little disconnected.
speaking directly to his followers in a YouTube video, Brand released a statement on Friday where he vehemently denied criminal and serious allegations that have been put to him by two media outlets, describing it as a coordinated attack. He said, amidst this litany of astonishing rather broke attacks, often very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. These allegations pertain to the time when I was working in the mainstream, when I was in the newspapers all the time when I was in the movies. And as I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. Now, during that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. I was always transparent about that.